Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Today we are using this sketch from Heather Landry at miraclesmamadesigns.blogspot.com and I'm not sure how old this sketch is, but I really love in the upper right hand corner it says, you can journal here in this teeny tiny little bitty space. It's not very big. And it's true, that little space is not very big. Um, I've thrown the sketch up there in the upper left hand corner. It'll be there throughout the layout process for you to see um, and if you are scrapbooking along with me then you can um, have access to it right there on the screen. So um, I decided to stretch my sketch to a double page layout which is something I often do because I have a ton of photos from when my kids were small and there aren't really big stories that need to be told um, at this point because I, I don't have um, things written down and I can't remember little anecdotes that go along with all of them. Now some of them do have stories but um, in a lot of cases they don't and in this particular case um, there's not really a story but I did want to document the day. This is um, my kids first time going to 4-H state presentation day and my daughter actually um, participated in the day my son was too young. He was uh, still, I think he was about eight years old, and they don't let the, the kids that are that young participate in this, partic this particular competition. Um, they are able to participate at a different level, and they get a word of merit type of um, ribbons and such, but uh, the older kids they get to participate they go first from your their county presentation day and if they get a gold there they um, can go to state presentation day so my daughter was part of the puppet project and you probably if you watch this series have seen me scrapbook some photos from that particular project and the project meetings and they did win a gold at our county presentation day so they got to go to state presentation day and they won a gold there as well. And um, in 4-H, they're not actually competing against other kids. They are competing on the Danish system. Um, they're meeting a criteria that is written down and competing basically against, um, I wouldn't, not really themselves, but they're, they're trying to meet that criteria and they're judged on that. And so um, we had a really good time. We went up there. This was done at UC Davis. We went up there with several friends of ours, uh, the other kids in the pup Puppet Project, and then some other friends. And we just ha made a day of it and had a really good time. And um, so I wanted to get that little story told. Um, there's not anything really uh, earth shattering that took place or anything that I'm documenting, but I just wanted to get it documented. It was the first time that she she did this and it was a lot of fun and we really enjoyed the day. We really enjoyed the process and it was fun just to kind of challenge themselves and um, and just have a blast with it. The kids actually made their own puppets. They wrote the script. They created the puppet theater and all of the backgrounds and so um, yeah it was it was definitely a lot of fun and definitely um, rewarding for them to be able to go and share this with other kids and with other adults and be rewarded for it. So basically back to the layout. Um, I have taken my hexagon punch and punched a whole bunch of different greens and if you know anything about 4-H you know their colors are green and white and in these photos there is a ton of green and white. They've got green sweatshirts, they've got green hats, they've got green scarves, uh, the puppet theater is green, there's green grass, and um, most of the greens don't match each other. So when that happens, what I do is I take a whole bunch of different colors of um, whatever color I'm working with, in this case it's green, and I, I use a whole bunch of them so that it u looks intentional. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put the title and the title on the sketch is in the upper right hand corner so that's why I've kind of placed that white border strip up there kind of um, letting my mind kind of stew on it while I adhere all of these hexagon pieces down and um, eventually I don't use it but I had a hard time deciding what I wanted to do 
So now I've pulled out some thickers. I'm writing down the words state presentation day so I can count the letters um, and figure out which package of thickers I want to use and which one has enough letters. And so I'm going to end up going with the one that's in my hand now. Um, another, another fun way to make all of this match is if you're building layers behind your photos, you can use several different colors of the same paper again, like I was saying that I've punched all of these different colors of green and all of those are punched out of scrap paper. I did not break into any 12 by 12 paper at all for this project with the exception of the black and white background paper and um, it's a great way to use up your scraps, punch them into shapes and, and use those shapes as different elements on your page and I really like the way that it came out and since I'm using all the different shades of green it looks great. It doesn't um, compete with the photos or the different colors of green that are in the photo. So now I'm also trying to decide where I want my title. The title is below the photos in the sketch but um, I did look at that for just a second there and I, I didn't really like the way it was um, sitting so also because I have more than one photo on the page um, it looks better just up where I'm putting it here at least to my eye so uh, feel free when you're using a sketch to make it fit whatever you are doing if it doesn't um, match or look right move things around um, that's one of the things about using a sketch is you're just using it as a jumping off point to get an idea of where you're going to put things or an idea of how to layer or how to what shapes to use and um, you know you can move things around to suit your needs and that's exactly what I've done here you can see I did not go completely vertical with my um, hexagons I kind of went across the center and then I took it off the page in a couple of different spots which really gave me three areas to um, put my embellishments. Now I didn't end up using all three of those areas. You'll see uh, my embellishment cluster, one of my embellishment clusters is not on the third area, like the area below my daughter's face on the right hand side where it goes off the page. Um, I didn't end up using that area. I used a different area. And I am actually building my little embellishment clusters. So I'm using these punches. These are just Fisker's puncher, punches. I'm using a circle and then I'm using a scallop. Normally I put my scallop behind my circle but in this case I decided to put the scallop on top and I'm using, this is a piece of paper that is uh, got a grid design on it and it's the same paper that I used for those borders that are below the photos and so it all ties it together and then I've got several leaf punches. This is a Martha Stewart leaf punch. And then I will pull out two different Tim Holtz um, foliage punches. And so I'm going to use those. And I'm using all different colors of green. Again, I'm just pulling the extra bits and pieces that I used for the hexagons and, and making my foliage out of those. So I'm going to pop up the little white dot or the white scallop onto the black and I'm off centering it so that it doesn't look like it's supposed to be centered. I don't want it to have a complete frame around the white um, that's equal. So I decided to go ahead and make it off center. And then I had this little punch that punches out clovers and in 4-H the clover is um, one of their, it, it's their um, logo, so the 4-H logo has a four-leaf clover on it and so I happened to have that punch and I think I bought it because we did 4-H for so many years and so I punched that and I put it off center inside of the scallop circle there and I'm taking three pieces of the foliage, one of each of the designs and in three different colors and having it come off the edge as well so that it um, it just kind of fans out and I really like how it looks I like how it came out um, it's the first time I've built it like that but I'm gonna that's what I'm doing for all three of my embellishment areas and when I do a double page layout I don't do three embellishment areas on one page I do three across all uh, both of the pages 
usually. Sometimes there's exceptions to that, but in this case, uh, that's what I'm going to do. So while I build that, let me just tell you a little bit about Stretch the Sketch. This is a monthly YouTube hop that several ladies participate in, and they are all extremely talented. And the links to their channels and their videos will be down below. And the idea is we take a sketch, usually a 12 by 12 sketch, and we stretch it or shrink it down to be a different size. So several of us do double page or traveler's notebooks. I've done a card before. Sometimes it's an 8x8 or a 9x12 or an 8.5x11. So go take a look and check out what the other ladies are doing as well. Um, they're super talented and hopefully you get a lot of ideas from this. Um, leave us comments. We all really enjoy it. We like to go ahead and respond anytime um, you, know, you leave a comment for us. Now I'm just using some green Heidi Swap Color Shine and I'm sprinkling that about in the um, embellishment areas and then I'll add a little gold heart to each one of the black uh, circles. You'll see those coming up in the close-ups so stick around. I'm just about done with the layout. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time and I hope you really enjoy this series. Don't forget to check out the ladies down below and I will see you next time.